with roles in Keeping Up with the Joneses, Spider-Man Homecoming, Gifted, Being Mary Jane, and Halt and Catch Fire, she is one of a small handful of Asian actresses making waves in Hollywood. And I'm delighted to have her on the show and also to know her as a friend. Please welcome, Jonah Xiao. Thanks for having me, Lawrence. <laughs> it's <Chow>. Awesome. <laughs> I love that. We're like brother and sister, but almost. <laughs> Jonah, mm -hmm. I've known you for quite a while, but yeah, suddenly, yeah. suddenly you've caught fire of late on screen. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> what sparked it? What lit the spark? It seems all of a sudden you're getting all these roles now. It feels like that. <laughs> Shit, you okay? Okay, let's talk about your next big breakthrough movie, which is, wow, Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> okay, I, first, when you got the confirmation, did you do the Holy Ghost dance? Like, it's one of these things. <laughs> like, I know yeah. Spider-Man is top, super top secret. These yes. major blockbusters always are. Uh -huh. Especially uh, Marvel. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell me about the movie or your role? One of my favorite actors of all time actually helped cast me in my role. I <laughs> had to bet Michael Keaton. It's going to be epic, awesome. Go see it. Stay close to the ground and stay out of trouble. And speaking about Marvel, um, there's another actor we all know as Captain America, Chris Evans, mm -hmm. and he's going to be in a drama called Gifted. Yeah. You're gonna take that girl, you're gonna loan her out to some think tank where she can talk non-trivial zeros with a bunch of old Russian guys for the rest of her life. And you'd bury her under a rock. Evelyn, stop. I'm raising her how I believe Diane would have wanted. And you're in that too. Yeah, he's, I feel like even more attractive in person than he is on screen, which I didn't think was possible. <laughs> that kills me. <laughs> Things but like that so kills me. <laughs> On the leading men from your movies, which would you want to X, Y, Z? A, John Hamm, B, Michael Keaton, C, Chris Evans. Different ones for different reasons, but I'll, I'll stick with uh, Chris Evans. I thought you were gonna say all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah, I know you on a personal level, mm -hmm. and I know you've had quite the journey to get to where you are today. Tell us a bit about it. Yes, I have. <laughs> so tell me about this little girl, teenager, mm -hmm. living in a trailer in New York. So it started, yes, I, uh, up until age eight, I was in upstate New York. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're living in, in this trailer. trailer, harboring these dreams of stardom and show business, <laughs> and you went from you know, a rough experience in New York, and then finally moving to LA, Los Angeles. Humbling, a lot of humble pie, but yeah. a lot of tenacity. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh, probably my parents. And I think another thing was like, I had this chip on my shoulder that I had, that I had something to prove. I think growing up, um, I was, especially when I was in St. Louis, Missouri, there wasn't, I think I was one of five Asians in my high school. And growing up, like, you know, I had friends getting asked questions like, why do you hang out with chinks? And just like really, you know, fairly racist comments. Um, you know, I have friends that have had, had it way worse, but for me, I just felt like much, very much like an outsider and that I didn't belong and that... Um, so that, that instill a I'll show you attitude? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk diversity for a mm -hmm. moment. Uh, you're one of the few Asian, and I mean few, Asian actresses making waves in Hollywood with you know some really good roles on some big projects. How do you think the landscape for diversity has changed? Sure, so I'm actually uh, excited about this direction that we're in right now because I feel like diversity is such a big push right now. Um, and it's exciting, like even the, I don't know if you heard the Mulan script for Disney, they even changed it because originally the um, white male protagonist uh, had kind of, like he was supposed to come in and save the day is what I read. And they changed around where, you no, know, Mulan is the one that comes in and saves the day. And I think that's great that Hollywood is willing to focus a little bit more on, you know, Asian stories and um, us being like the protagonist and not just like the sidekick. And I think that's very exciting. Now, do we have a ways to go? Yes. My favorite catchphrase or personal mantra is... You miss 100% of the shots you never take. 